What's going on guys? Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Uh, this one's going to be all about reserve. Um, the different type of farming routes you can do. Stuff that uh, some people don't really think about. It's pretty nice to run. And uh, we're going to go through them real quick. There's two of them on here, so... I would say if you're going to grab some gear, you can bring... Backpack for one part of the route. And I need to buy a vest, actually. Uh, buy the biggest one you can really get. Because uh, one of them is going to require you to have a pretty decent rig on there and I'll put pictures on the uh, on the screen show you all the route to do this one here that'll work for now get that on there uh these routes you can usually do just a pistol so if you got a pistol on you just grab it I'm not gonna really put many bullets in mine but I would make sure you at least have at least one clip and then maybe another or another magazine and then let's see here we're gonna do Reserves. So let's get into reserves and I will show you what I'm talking about. Make sure it's daytime or nighttime. If you have night vision, if you want to run nighttime, you're more than welcome to, but I like doing this daytime, which is easier to see what you're doing and see all the loot. So let's get going. All right. So the first one that you're going to be looking at uh, is this area of the reserves. I don't know really what you would call it, but um, this one's going to require just the best only. So don't bring a backpack with you. If you bring a backpack with you, you won't be able to get out the exit you're going to need to. Um, I usually start off in the building here. Some people will go a different direction first, but I like going into this building. Uh, there is a nice little room up here on the third floor that you can get some decent loot from, which I just quickly check it because I'm on the side of the map. Climb up all the way through here, and keep in mind the loot will vary depending on the uh, the, the actual you know loot that's coming from the map. Uh, offline raids going to show a lot more than normal, so just don't take the loot that you're seeing that you're going to see all the time because you probably won't. If you come in here, this one's going to have two weapon spawns, or three, depending on the raid. Right there, you get a weapon here. You have a bunch of ammo here on the side here. All right, now this is a Christmas Christmas, Christmas event, so you'll see these no snowball, or the ornaments here. And then you'll find sometimes jewelry on top. You get the file of the cabinets you can grab from there. And sometimes loot will spawn here. Mostly attachments. So, that's the first place I go. Then I run across here, the hole in the, in the uh, floor. Jump down that real quick. Come over to the staircase here. Run all the way down. Once you get here, we're going to hit up the building here. And we're going to directly go through all the electronics areas. Now there's quite a bit inside this building uh, where you can search, so we'll just check the main areas. Um, but you're going to find stuff that's a lot of military equipment, electronics that will sell for a good amount of money, stuff you can sell in the flea market, stuff you can sell in a couple other places, so check them out. All along here in these electronic areas, you'll find stuff spawn along, along the side here as well. Stuff like this. Again, it's going to vary on the loot. And just check through all the spaces. You're not missing anything. This right here, this wall here, make sure you check it because there will be spawns on, on the on the shelving sometimes there's on top but you'll definitely sometimes find something in there you can check inside the little uh, cabinets here sometimes there'll be stuff spawned in there once you've done that see just like that it's 109,000 selling to uh therapist right there and again more gear will spawn all along this sometimes it's nice loot sometimes it's not really the best you're gonna come up top through here and there's always a backwards route. I mean, you know, if you spawn on this side of the map, you're going to go through the, the way you're looking at it right now. Um, if you spawn on the opposite side, over that direction, behind all the uh, the three-story buildings, then you're going to have to do this basically the opposite way. I come all the way down here, because you will get a spawn for documents on this little counter here. And then I check over here, just in case there's any medical items I'll grab there. This room right here, I do check a lot. Because right here on this uh, this little table here, you can spawn a, a fully modified weapon, or I think it's a 545 weapon, an AK version. But it will spawn there once in a while. And then we'll go down this direction, down the staircase. And this will bring us to the next room, which will be right here. And again, it's just going to be spawning loot throughout this area. Check everything, make sure you're not missing anything. Is it doesn't look like sometimes something will spawn in there, but they, it definitely will. That's why I always say double check every time you come through. Come through here. 
nothing here, but normally there will be something spawned on the floor here. I found Tetrises before there. I found many other things, so triple check all that stuff. And especially the, the Tetrises, it's going to be a little more dusty on the ground, so it's going to be hard to see. So just make sure you're really looking. Then we come down one more floor. And go through here. It's one more area. Back through here. And electronics. And this side here. Nothing, okay. And then this will be the last area before we exit the building. Again, just check through all the technology here. Sometimes it'll be worth it, sometimes it won't be. You can just grab it. It's still t some type of loot you can still trade or whatever. Inside this box, uh, or inside this little mechanical thing, something always spawns inside of it. So triple check inside, because you never know what you may find. And on top of here, something's always spawning. And keep in mind, you don't always have to sell this stuff, like that filter I just got. Um, I'll, pull up, I'll pull up on a picture on the screen of what you can actually get from that. A lot of times there's a, there's a weapon that will, or some type of barter that will come with that. So just check that. And then, lastly, I do... I go to this building over here. And then we check the bottom floor because the, the, the door is right there. And again, I'll put the key up there so you know which one it is exactly. It's over here. Now, there, some people will tell you get the key above. I don't really like to stay on this side of the map a lot because the scab also spawn here a lot of times. Players just spawn in that direction. If I try to get the bottom here, one right here, lock that. And then I come through here. I check the coats because the coat will sometimes have keys in there, which is nice to have. Nothing in there. Military equipment again. That's another military item, which is nice. Check the shelving units all the way around. You can check inside here because sometimes loot will spawn in that box. Couple cool tools to check there. Always have mods spawn right here, which is really nice. Balancers. You know what this is? Oh, that's right. It's for the DVL. Uh, and then you got yourself a, a weapon case right there. And then after I check that, I run back. The last thing I'll, I will check before I leave will be underneath this little stain here. Not many people actually know about this. And this is kind of a hidden thing. So if you don't, uh, if you pass this all the time, never check it. Now you know. Crawl underneath here, and well, as you can see, some type of item will spawn right there. Sometimes it'll spawn right there in the bandages, or it'll spawn right there, like that GP coin is spawned. So it's a rare little spot. Got a GP coin out of that, which is cool. Not that I'm keeping any of this stuff because it's offline raid, but you may see some stuff there. You may not. I I found, I think I, think I found a teapot in there. I found a Bitcoin. A few other things I found in there. And at that point, again, this is the run without the backpack. You need uh, you need it so you don't have a backpack on this route. You run over here. Be careful of scabs. I always bring a pistol or bring some type of weapon. If you don't, you're most likely going to get shot, so... Make sure you have something with you. Then you come over here. In between these two vehicles, and again, you can come down the main way, or you can go behind it. Get to here, just whatever you feel most comfortable with while doing the raid. And you come to this little hole here, which is the sewer hole, sewer manhole, which will give you your exit. Again, it won't fit me right now because I have the backpack on, but that's that route. And that's the one I like to do a lot because it's fun, it's easy. Uh, I usually bring in some type of armor with me because you will get some types, sometimes get a conflict, at least one weapon with me. And uh, now we'll go over the next one. So the next loot path is going to be where you'll spawn over by that tower there. I'll show you the map where we're at now, so you know where, where you're at. Uh, you're going to run from there, basically keep following where the path we're at now. And we're going to be heading to the White Knight building, which is going to be right there. That's the first building that I do hit. Now, there is one spot that has a key. You don't have to do it. Again, it's, just, it's not required. So all these all these uh, loot videos I'm going to be putting out soon, don't worry about it if you don't have the key. It's not a huge deal. You really don't need to. Uh, but I come through here. There's a back door here. So make sure you come through here. I usually close the door in case anyone's out there making noise, trying to come at me. Uh, these building, the rooms down here aren't really useful unless you want to go to that room there, which will have a couple um, well, coats you can check out for keys. I always say check them if you have time, but if you're in, if you're in a hurry, you're trying to do this fast, don't worry about them. There's a PC here. You can always check for a flash drive if one's on the front of it. Uh, skip the first room. Come to the second room. This is more of my attachments run. 
if you're ever low on attachments but you, you want to make some good money uh, it's a good spot to come uh, there's always gonna be some type of loot here you'll find loot on this table here say a little you know right now again christmas events on here loot's gonna spawn all on top of this table here you get yourself a weapon case you got a lot of nice loot to spawn here i i'd say about two out of every five runs that i do this i find some type of thermoscope which is really nice i can use that to uh, well, I have a thermal or sell it depending on what I want, and it's just about a hundred something k, hundred something k like, like per item, so it's very nice. Uh, check on top of here. There's loot that will spawn on top of there. Attachments will spawn here and here. And if you're feeling a little bit up to it, I normally don't, but it's up here. Look at that scope right there, or the loot right here, and that's about it for the third floor. At that point, I jump down. And again, I'll put the key up on the screen of which one you need exactly. Down here is the first door you have to unlock. This is a nice room because it's got weapon racks that will spawn all across here for weapons. I've I found many AKs, AKSs in here. I found three of them in a row. It's awesome. So keep that in mind. Documents have a spawn chance right here. As well as a, um, a tank battery. So keep that in mind. You know what tank batteries do? Tank batteries, uh, they make five normal batteries. You really hide out if you do those. You also need them for a quest, I think, at some point. Oh so yeah, keep that in mind. You know, you get your weapon parts here, get your box there, and all along here will be different different loot that will spawn. Sometimes you have something spawn at the top. It's hard to get, but you can still get it. Grenade spawn there. I just come in here to check the table. If there's anything useful, you can check the cabinets. If you want to, you don't have to. And I check through here, you have self spawn inside there, and of course all your attachments will spawn on top of this table. Get you a very nice loot. Up up here. Up up here. It's kind of hard to do at first. You can always go out the back entrance, but this is a little bit faster. The bypass of a few more steps. Jump on top of that. Uh, and then I come back through here, check for any medical items or like this, concentrated milk. Come back through here. I usually net, if I'm doing this, the least I've ever netted is about 100k. <clears throat> At the the most, I believe it was about 600. So the, the runs will vary, just keep that in mind. I, I do sometimes check that case, depends on how much of I'm in a hurry, and check that. There's also a gym bag that's going to be coming up soon. Check. Gonna be, oh, it's back there. Gym bag back there. But this will be the next room you need. It's the, the military garage, which is a very cool spawn. There's a lots of loot in here. Makes you look a weird direction when opening it. But. Come in here. You have sometimes a, a tank battery will spawn here. Tank battery will sometimes spawn right there. You can get lucky, unfortunately, this time. Oh, but you got your first case here. Always has some type of military spawn in it. Or actually, I found medical items in it too. Check that. Uh, on top of here, you have another case. To give you some type of cool loot. Or not. <laughs> this time, not. And you'll get stuff like this random loot that'll spawn. This is like 50k right there. Two grenade spots for you to check too. So those will have grenades in there. Especially if you're trying to run and get someone coming behind you. Nice having a grenade sometimes to throw out and keep going. <laughs> and double check here again. Nothing in there, we just keep moving on. Uh, these boxes here, do check them because weapons will spawn inside them. Like full size weapons that are sometimes modded, sometimes are not. And then we just triple check everything, make sure there's nothing we missed. And then at that point, we go out. Uh, we go back through. Back through where you're going. There's a reason why we do this, because this one's a little bit longer run than the, than the previous one. Now, you can do this run with uh, when no, no, no backpack can take the sewer manhole over that direction like we did before for the first run. Um, but it, you're not going to get as much profit because there's not a lot of military technology, which will give you most of the money that you're going to be receiving from just doing the best only. Keep that in mind. Uh, there is a spawn over here that's pretty nice. Another weapon spawn. You'll get a weapon here that spawns here. You can check that. Attachments are always on this table here. Back here, do check because you'll sometimes get yourself some nice medical items. Uh, the coat, we'll check in a second. But... The only reason why I come in this one, the most part, is coming up to the second floor here. Checking at all the rooms. Sometimes they'll have really nice ones. Not that one, I apologize. This one here! That's the door I was looking for. Yes. Documents will spawn on there. 
Uh, inside, on top of there, you'll have more attachments. Third floor, we're gonna come up here. There's another grenade spawn right there. Nothing inside this room. It's not like the other side. There's literally nothing in here, so don't waste your time unless you want to check for the PCs for any flash drives. That is a thing you can do if you have the time. They're, they're everywhere. There's four of them in this room, so it's kind of nice. Come along to the rooftop. You have to be careful here. There's someone sitting on top of the dome. They've got a clear shot on you. My ammo will spawn all across here. You'll have some weapon attachments here. Big box in there. And we've also got... Sometimes uh, you have a chance for a weapon to spawn on this wall. As I've always seen it a few times, but it definitely can happen. Uh, after that, I'll just jump off of the roof. Jump up here, jump there. And then right down here. This we gotta be careful so you don't hurt yourself too much. Right there. You only hurt yourself about a, f a few. I was already hurt before this raid, so... Yeah. So you run over here. Get one last thing we need to do. And if you have a chance, you, you can always stop here too and check the rest of the military equipment. This is just the very long run. And at this point, you're just repeating, rinse and repeating what we've just done. But at that point, at this point, I usually have too much gear and I need to get the heck out of here. So if you have any other extracts you can take, obviously right now we don't have the old ones that we want. It's a clip descent. Kind of far away. We will come in here, pop this on here, and we start running. Obviously, I don't have any run right now, but try to save your run as much as possible to get to that, that uh, switch there. A switch is going to open up your exit, which I'll put on screen somewhere. We're going to run all the way back to the Black Knight, which is right over here. The way through. People do kind of watch for this route, so if you need to alternate it a little bit, you're, you may have to. If they see you coming, now they're going to probably kill you. Then mine. Right here. Black Jacket. I do check this before I go. Look at that. It's a key I don't even have. Look at that. Military key. I found probably five military keys inside that jacket since I've started doing this route. It's the best. I'm gonna follow this direction here. And to avoid the scab boss or anybody that's sniping in those towers. There's two back towers behind these buildings. I just close everything behind me. Let me take the underground route. Through here. Closing all the doors. Bringing ourselves through. Now, be careful because there are keys to get inside each of these cages. And there sometimes will be people sitting in them waiting for you to pass by. So just check your corners before you're walking through. Try not to get shot. I've seen uh, scabs spawn down here. They'll hide in this little corner. So you have to look for there to take out any scabs. That's why you bring the weapon. It's hatching. Hatchling stuff is kind of meh. Not really fun. Now, there's two options. There's this ramp to go up, or the other ramp to go around and then go back up on the other side. It's the exact same thing. It just brings you right to the same door. Only difference is you have to run through this pathing. Through all these doors. You come through one door, two door, three door, and you'll be here. At that point, you come over to the door here, and you get out. This is your exit. You wait a little bit longer than normal, but it's a quick, easy run. Again, only thing you have to watch out for is campers and uh, raiders at the end when you pull the switch. So that's about it for reserve. And once again, keep in mind, this loot is uh, subject to change at all times. You won't notice the same loot every single time. Uh, just because, you know, raids, they, they never carry the same exact stuff. So if you get a couple of raids where you go in and you're not finding anything, don't get discouraged. Just keep running through and you will find some loot. Uh, but that's where we're going to be ending the video for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the rest of my Escape from Tarkov videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next to it so you get all notifications when I bring up a video. And as always, leave me a comment to how you like the video. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day and get that loot.